part three. Um, autism with twins, living and loving through autism. Autistically blessed. Well, as far as being innovated, like I said, Yesenia is nonverbal. Nonverbal doesn't mean that she's um, dumb or I don't know what people think when they hear nonverbal because she's very smart. She's very smart. She's she's delayed in some of her maturity uh, mentally, but as far as knowing things like and being able to be taught and to do things for herself, those things are coming along. She's delayed in that aspect. And emotionally, um, I don't know. I think sometimes I think with autism, they don't have that same um, emotional connection that we do. You know how things hurt our feelings and, ooh, you know, we're upset. I don't think they have that. And I, and I think there is a high, high tolerance for pain because the girl, um, she, she had, was messing around, playing around or whatever on the end of her bed and bit through her lip. I'm screaming and hollering. She's doing nothing. She's like, mm, what are you hollering for? <laughs> and I had to take her to, um, well, she, she hit, bit through this and, and then it went and then, but it also hit her eye. So here we go. We had to have stitches here and then they didn't do a stitch here. They did that, uh, butterfly thing or they just told us to have, uh, popsicles. She could have popsicles and have that to be, but the girl didn't, she didn't do anything. I thought she was going to scream and holler. You know where she screamed and hollered? Cause she's a, she's scared of the automatic doors of the hospital. The automatic doors threw her for a loop. She was just like, oh my God, what in the heck are y'all trying to do? This thing is opening by itself. So she was afraid of that. I already knew that because when I tr tried to take her into the mall, <laughs> she would have a, have a hissy fit if the doors opened by themselves. So we would have to go through a door where I would allow her to hold the door and kind of, and we'd pull it open to our, you know, together. But if it just opened up she would have a fit that was from toddler so when someone says that their child is nonverbal that does not mean that they are dumb um, they're not saying oh she's deaf dumb and blind because she's not blind and she's not dumb and she's not deaf she just is nonverbal she just doesn't talk and um, I don't know what it is. We've had her in speech and everything. She just doesn't talk. Now, this is when I will talk to you about how Zachary feels about that. Now, he's older now, but as a child, he had his own feelings about his sister not talking. And it was shocking because like I said, they don't have the same emotional connections and the emotions that we have. They're just straightforward. He does not have a filter. He does not look out for your feelings. <laughs> and he's not trying to be mean or hurtful. It's just honest. It just comes up and it just comes out and it's just honest. And you and he's just like, I don't know. <laughs> so I always, um, you know, warn people. You ask him a question, I hope you really want the answer he's going to give you because he's going to give you an honest answer, honest and true. He's going to give it to you. So I hope you open for it. But anyway, I will be talking to you about how he felt about his sister, who is his twin, um, not being verbal. Because that seemed to have given him, a, 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 you know, some kind of, he felt some kind of way about that. And he wanted to know, well, when is God going to fix that? And because I told him, I said, God made you guys perfectly perfect. And he did. He made us all perfectly perfect. We're all the way we're supposed to be the way we are. And so, and, but he did not understand. He wanted to know, well, when is that, you know, uh, God is supposed to fix that. So when he's going to fix it. So I will be going uh 
in in part four, we'll be talking about Zachary and his feelings toward um, his nonverbal sister, and 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 that's his twin. So twins mean the same, right? Are almost the same. They're fraternal, so it's almost the same. So you know, we'll talk about it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our Autistically Blessed Facebook page and or um, uh, follow us and then go over to our YouTube channel and follow us there. Wherever you're seeing it, go to the other place and follow us now. Um, like, share, and subscribe. And we appreciate you. See you on the next round, part four. It's coming. It's coming. You ready? You ready? I'm ready. Bye. <laughs> this series is kind of fun. I'm running all over the house and, and just talking to y'all. Oh, here I go, making it longer than I was supposed to. These are supposed to be five minutes. I'm up to six. Bye. <laughs>